guys how's everyone happy strawberry full moon today is full moon they call it strawberry full moon <laughs> i did not look up why they call it strawberry full moon but strawberries are red <laughs> and who likes strawberries but i wanted to do a mystery reading yesterday i did a future spouse reading charged with the full moon energy hope you resonate and today I felt inspired to do a mystery reading now what I did is I already set the intentions there's a lot of oracles here compiled because I already like use a lot and um, so I'm not going to be confused and overwhelmed I just set the intentions that I'm going to pre-shuffle the energy usually I don't do pre-shuffling but it's so hot today and I wanted to get things done without overwhelming my mind and like my energy and like you know over overload so in order for me to I like you know a little bit organized I just pre-shuffled and I set the intentions I asked the spirit guides what what is your mystery message right now from the universe what you need to know there's tea cards here there's a bunch of oracles there's also tarot so let's find out pile one celestite Pile two, Scolicite. Pile three, Blue Chalcedony. So at the back of this crystal, uh, uh, there's an angel message too. So we'll we'll see what what you need to hear as well, and a bunch of oracles and a bunch of mystery message that you need to hear right now. And um, yeah, so let's go calling on my spirit guys, my guardian angel, the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe. We're going to ask messages, possible energies and advice spirit guys, where do we go from here? And I set the intentions for the mystery message to those who's going to pick pile celestites, colicite and blue chalcedony spirit guides and protection and guidance and blessing please and today is the full moon strawberry full moon actually but for, for whoever is going to gravitate into this message this is a timeless pick a card reading bless us all please thank you let's go so um i'm going to set aside pile two and pile three over here for the meantime so we're going to focus on you pile one to those who's going to pick pile celestite there's a message here are you hearing messages from your angels have you noticed your life flows easily as if divine timing is working in your life peace is yours you have a team of angels on your side illuminating and orchestrating your life they respond to your thoughts wishes and dreams according to the divine plan so pile one a message for you that whatever you need you must ask ask and you shall receive ask help from your guardian angels so remember universe and guardian angels they are waiting for you to ask help because you know everybody's exercising their law of free will and i think this is what your message today and there's also a message at the back archangel uriel i am at peace and it's the message here maybe you are someone who's feeling a lot of chaos and hurting right now so there's a message here that may peace be with you i am at peace legions of angels are my personal entourage helping me every day in every way i am aligned with the divine plan my ancestors direct me on my path i am grateful for the knowledge they impart to me so you know there might be at times you might be feeling like rejected alienated but it could be a divine direction it's not rejection it's a divine direction because possibility it's not the right time or it wasn't meant to be or it wasn't for you but regardless there's a message here that your legion of angels and spiritual team are supporting you every step of the way so I am going to put back your energy right here celestine so there's some um oh my gosh i okay i also set the intentions that what astral house is going to open up in your life let's understand so um lightning control your anger or you will be sorry well that kind of makes sense now because we are seeing that you are someone needing peace right now. 
crown. Honor and respect will come to you. Maybe you are someone who wants to be heard, who wants to be seen, and then you are experiencing some kind of resistance or challenges. It's, not, it's like, you know, uh, I feel like they're, they're blocking you from what you want to do, from your goals and visions in life. Desk, pay attention to your work. Maybe you are also frustrated about your job. The crown is you want to be seen. You want recognition. But the universe says, honor and respect will come to you. Now, how is that going to happen? Because I could see anger and pain and frustration here. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. So what's, what do you want? You already know the answer. Or you could be someone... Maybe your intuition is trying to tell you something and then you don't listen. There's January, September. There's a lot that came out for you, Pile One. A lot of time frame. January, September, November. Wow. And this is the astral house that I said. What's, what, is, what blessings are going to open in your life right now? wealth yeah you could be someone frustrated with money or you are praying for good luck so that's going to change in your life now maybe you're someone going to transition and don't know what to do you're feeling like lost and confused right now but this is a message here that you're going to have wealth wealth can can be in the form of money community or health so what else career i already know i did not look at this but i feel like this is what you are manifesting right now money career abundance maybe you are someone like worried how you're going to pay your bills how you're going to pay your rent how you're going to put food on the table you want to do something you want to be successful you want to put up your own business so this is the time now the universe says if you want to do something if you want to be seen and heard then it's time for you to like you know make a change in your life do not be settling for less because if you are just someone who's going to like always be a follower and possibly you are someone who's working for a company and then they, you are undervalued, underpaid, or you are someone who's stuck there for a long time, then maybe universe is trying to say, time to make a career change. You'll be supported anyway. Because maybe you've been there for too long and it's already making you feel chaotic and bored. So I think your message right now, it's time to get out of the rut. If you want to... Uh, make a change in your life whether it's career because there's a special message here about career then make like you know time to recreate and reinvent yourself maybe this is also a time for you to like embrace new projects new opportunities or new adventures or new ventures in life so let's see um, i i want to be a little bit organized here my table can only handle so much and there's a lot more oracle that we need to see so what else archangel raphael is the angel of healing provider of healing for mind body and spirit because you needed peace archangel raphael i don't know if you could be in the spiritual healing field or the medical healing field but definitely a message here please Heal your mind, soul, body, and spirit. That's the only way you can have peace. It's like holistic self-love, self-care, and call our Archangel Raphael to help you heal. So what else am I seeing here? Spread your wings and fly, angel. There's a butterfly here. You could be someone who feels like a broken angel, but it's a message for you too, a mystery message from the universe. You're going to heal your wings and fly, angel. You're not broken. You will heal too and you will fly again. So, yeah, there's wings. Animal band. Stand up for all animals. I feel like if you are an animal lover, but it could mean a message is 
pay attention to spirit animals maybe your spirit animals are butterflies maybe you're seeing birds and what else am i seeing here there yeah, there's blue butterflies I'm not sure. is this a nest or there's daisies there's bunny there's white horses there's squirrels and there's a fox i think it's a fox or a tiger anyway there's a lot of animals i could see you know like look i hope you can zoom it and you can see it but i think like universe is also trying to say be gentle with yourself because i'm seeing the bunny here maybe you're too hard on yourself you know what an animal is sometimes when they provoke and in pain then they bite back so maybe you're like that you are someone who's been hurt and misunderstood right now because you know if someone provoking and triggering you and then you lash out and then maybe all these toxic people or toxicity around you and make you feel like you're the one at fault and and then now you blame yourself so anyway um what else you need to hear right now archangel gabriel is the angel of communication messenger of creativity and hope yeah so like i said you can recreate yourself but you are waiting for like a sign and a communication from up above or some kind of miracle like where do you go from here but spirit guy says there is hope for you and you can recreate and reinvent yourself again like i said archangel gabriel is the angel who led the three kings the three magi towards jesus christ archangel gabriel is like you know he's he he's the angel that's most talk about in the bible as well you know um he has a big role during the christmas time when jesus was born in bethlehem so okay but there's two angels that's coming in your energy right now trying to support you in your journey they might know that you are feeling really hurt angry and in pain right now but have peace in your heart in your soul and also a message from your archangel gabriel and your spiritual team that they're trying to lead and open your pathway now so you can move forward in your life and try to pay attention as well to your dreams or spirit animals because you might they might cross your path and they could have some kind of spiritual meaning that could help guide you in your journey to life or to wherever you want to be so let's go i am going to um so far it's a beautiful message for you trust trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path exactly this is what we are seeing now it's very consistent these are different oracles here and it's all coming together and i did not look at this i just set the intentions and I was you know press shuffling but exactly if you are someone who is thinking like where do you go from here when it comes to career or should you change your career or is there going to be blessings coming your way i think there will be because wealth is going to open and 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 pour and shower in your life okay maybe you that's that's what you need to manifest right now or like make affirmations that blessings go and wealth is going or health good health is going to pour in your life in all forms in all directions and trust that all these blessings will come to you trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path so anyway you could be someone who's afraid of the future maybe you're thinking like oh where you are from Three years from now five years from now because you're feeling unstable body work your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy energy healing physical therapy or exercise training this is a calling for you to keep your energy moving i don't know if this this could be some some career path that you feel called to do something about um you know fitness energy healing yoga body work 
massage therapy i don't know or maybe it's time for you to get a massage or like physical therapy or yoga or exercise training or something like that to feel good about yourself as part of your healing process so um what else you need to know opportunity yeah when opportunity comes to you grab it or in order to find the opportunity you must put yourself at the right place at the right time so opportunity can find you i tell you improving health i am getting goosebumps here because like i said i have never took a moment to look to look at these oracles because i want to be surprised as you as well and since we are channeling i need to be right but look what what we are seeing now in your pile i think you're much more worried about career and health right now but universe says you will recover even if you think like how hard it is right now you have angels gabriel and raphael and other spiritual teams going to be helping you so anyway what else is very nice so anyway i'm going to set aside so you're not going to be confused We're going to give me a moment. Okay. Let's see. Panacea. What are your blocks? There's a solution to every problem. Yeah, you're feeling like tied down and restricted and no grounding. So see, you want stability because you're hanging there. But Spirit Guide says there's a solution to your problem. Part of your block is thinking like you are stuck, you are hanging, you are feeling helpless. So, make peace with your past. See? Important message for you is make peace with your pain. Make peace with whatever is like boggling you in the past and move on from it. If Or if you are someone like always coming back to the past and like digging what needs to be buried already and then you just... Put yourself in a lot of pain again. So that's why Spirit Guide says if you want peace, you have to make peace with your past and move on. That's it. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I can see this illustration here as a rebirth, like a phoenix growing from the ashes. That's what you need to be. Arise from despair i don't know what you have been through but if you are frustrated about health and career right now so that could be something that you need to focus on so thank you let's find out more savings see it's all about money again um are you consistently save for your future as you consistently save for your future, your future is safe. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds. This is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So just zoom it and you can read this message. And let's see if successful funding is all about money. Look, save for a rainy day. Spend your money wisely and a message here successful funding your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of god that gave you the idea do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to you what did i say don't be afraid to ask help maybe there's going to be people who's going to help you like loan or but anyway you know credit and loan we still have to pay it back but i'm just going to tell you that you're going to get yourself out of this mess right now if you're someone going through money problem or health problem and also a message here a reminder from the universe that yeah when it comes to money be wise so so okay what else unlock your heart wow what does it mean unlock your heart <laughs> it looks like a trojan horse but 
anyway unlock your heart maybe you are someone who has some um, block on your heart chakra be gentle with yourself love yourself first so i mean because it's saying unlock your heart it's time for you to feel it's time for you to love you deserve love okay so i am going to see what your tarot says the moon well it's full moon right now secrets illusions something that yet to be discovered sensitivity emotional maybe you're someone very sensitive and emotional right now or maybe take this full moon as a time to manifest what you want in your life to manifest health to manifest career so something like that justice yeah and if you are someone who's really in pain and hurting right now and and you're thinking about revenge and someone has done you wrong you know karma there's always karma but the justice is also a message do not settle for less and you don't need to be a bad person just because you know you're so hurt and angry right now justice also meant you have a choice and step into your power do not give up your power to anyone else but take back the control and take back your power inside of you do not give out your power to others maybe that's the problem you're very giving you give out your power you give out your energy and then they using it against you to drain you exhaust you so be careful who you surround yourself with energy vampires toxic people toxic energies or if you are someone who's stuck on a certain environment like you know like a dead end job or toxic people you have the power to walk away from them that's what the message is but you're someone who's kind of like um needing to push yourself to come out of the shadows because you're always hiding your true feelings you're always hiding yourself and 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 it's like you were always living under the moon so now spirit guy says it's time for you to get out into the world and be heard and be seen so what else the lovers and you could be someone who's very intuitive as well and possibly looking for your future life partner because there's a message here you are deserving of love unlock your heart you are someone who's possibly have fear of intimacy and fear of falling in love but universe says it's safe for you to be happy too do not like restrict yourself from falling in love or being loved by someone not all men or not all people are bad that's what i could understand in your pile just because you were hurt in the past doesn't mean that you're not going to meet someone special who's going to protect you and understand you and love you so anyway the death yeah this is the grand transformation that you are trying to manifest in your life right now it's actually this that is not something that you are going to be scared about because this is a refreshing energy just like rain it's going to purify you from all your unwanted confusion doubting and fears so anyway um see because the sun is shining in here um because maybe you are someone who's really trapped in the shadows and going through like a lot of darkness and that's why universe says it's time to like let go of whatever is restricting you you are not hanging in there you know this transformation is going to bring healing and grounding and stability and faith see there's a message for you trust believe and have faith i don't know if you're spiritual or religious but have faith that you get this that you, that you got this hey why are you got this and look you are holding out your cup to the universe and you that you are this you know because you know you are deserving of blessings i do not even know why you are functioning on a self-restricting beliefs that you do not deserve to be happy that you do not deserve all these blessings so it's time to change that perspective because 
if you're always going to be functioning on the on the fear of like oh my god negative thinking and oh like nothing even happening you're already pessimistic and that's how you're going to attract so please spirit guide says empty your cup with all this dirty water if if that cup is you like a temple your body soul mind spirit you have to have peace to attract wonderful energies to attract blessings in your life and to attract healing as well and if you want to attract like a like someone who wants to love you exactly you're going to attract this person when you are peaceful and high vibrational and very loving person okay like high vibe only thank you that's what i could understand for you hope you resonate pile um pile one Let's go. Pile two. School is sent. Are you trying to process a lot of information? Take the time to sort out all that is happening. Write in your journal. Make it your intention to remember your dreams. Record your thoughts and memories upon waking. Huh. Find peace as you process each nugget of information, awareness, and spiritual growth. You could be someone, who, maybe you get premonitions from your dreams, but sometimes we have dreams and we don't remember it. But Spirit Guide says, <laughs> take note of your dreams. But you're trying to process a lot of information, possibility, because you're, I could see like a puzzle. You possibly searching for a lot of answers right now and then you're trying to solve like the, the missing links in the puzzle so you're trying to find solutions where you need to be right now archangel gabriel meditation is a normal part of my day my crown third eye and throat chakras are balanced and aligned my intuition is intact i consciously request and accept the help of angels my life flows easily with grace so you might have you might have to incorporate meditation in your life to help you to be more focused and objective and peaceful because definitely there's a calling here that you need to be balanced and aligned to the universe mind soul body spirit so yeah some type of meditation you don't have to like you know meditate like for an hour unless if you want to i mean at least five to ten minutes that would help too but i i guess meditation is the time to be quiet and the time to listen to god listen to your soul okay so archangel gabriel is also the angel of communication possibility you know maybe work with archangel gabriel to help to to and let the angels communicate to you where what you need to do next because i feel like you are someone asking what is the next step in your life where do you go from here what to do especially if you're feeling like you want to do something and manifest something like adventure in your life rabbit too much concern with sexual matters well, anyway, maybe this is you focus on physical things, materialism, sexual matters. But anyway, we all we all need to feel. But let's understand more. Maybe you were dating toxic people in the past and be careful, okay? But anyway, but it, possibility is also a message that, you know, you have to be balanced and aligned. So maybe there's some parts in your life right now in a physical world that is... A little bit imbalance maybe you are someone this is your subconscious self wanting to feel wanting to be sexual and sensual maybe your sacral chakra there's a block on that because sacral chakra is you know like fear of intimacy or maybe you are someone who's been in isolation forever and then you're wondering if you can ever feel again and be intimate again so so what else hand in need of help assistance and guidance so you're definitely asking for help right now what you need to do but this hand could also be a support from god support from your community or 
wonderful people in your life. Man, dealings or relationship with a man. So this could be a future spouse, a future husband, a mentor, someone very important to you, someone a very strong masculine energy to guide you through. So if you are single, then maybe this is a message that could be a future husband. So anyway, what else? Happiness. Okay, so so what astral house is going to open to you? What blessing is going to open to you? Well, I set the intentions. Okay. And Spirit Guide says, you will be happy too. Happiness. Possibly marriage. Wedding. Partnership. Or happiness could also be like you being happy with yourself but i feel like there is there is partnership here so what else see i tell you this could be self-love or this could be you winning and being happy falling in love and being with your life partner so there's july so technically in a few days time it's going to be july so something about july and december wow but, but I love this because see, true love and happily ever after will be yours. Pile two, bag. Something important such as, such as new job or a race. Well, this is also a message here. You could get a new job, new offers or promotion. But I am really happy with your energy because it's saying here, love is finally going to shower in your life if you are someone manifesting a partner and also happiness so so much blessings and so much happiness is finally smiling at you so you don't feel like you know left out that universe or god does not see you so so anyway or maybe you are someone wanting recognition from a specific person and this person is actually trying to say, hey, take my hand or something like that. Let's be together. I, I don't know. And then there's there's um time here of July and December. Okay, so I'm going to set aside letting go, learn to let go. You know, as they say, sometimes letting go is an art as well. So maybe this full moon is also a time for you to clear away, detoxify, purify what you don't need anymore. So breathe, just breathe. And dove, oh, I love the dove. Take a leap of faith. So, it, wow, that kind of makes sense now because Spirit Guy says, what, what are you so afraid about? If you want adventure, then you have to take a leap of faith. Step out of your comfort zone. If you're always living your life and choosing things that plays, playing it safe and always comfortable, how are you going to learn? Sometimes you got to take risk. And that's how you're going to win the jackpot. <laughs> That's how it is anyway, sometimes, and most of the time. But there's a message here, take a leap of faith. Maybe you're wanting to travel, you're wanting to do things in your bucket list that you haven't done before. So, and maybe this is also, the letting go is also a message then. Don't take on so much pressures in life and burdens that, that you know, it, it's weighing heavy on you. So it, now it's time for you to declutter and lighten up your load. Ooh, choices see it's time for you to make the best choices in life it could be long term as well be objective now it's time to 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 think long-term plans but I think this is what you are scared about right now because you are you are confused you want to know what is your long-term goal, long-term plan, but but you are scared because you're holding on to something that is comfortable and safe to you. But this could be a message from the universe that what you truly want in your heart, you already know anyway. 
But since you are so scared to take a leap of faith, then you're just trying to choose what is best for you right now, what makes you what what is easy and what is comfortable. So see the message for you here is take a leap of faith. Sometimes you gotta push your limits too because you know it's like it's it's like you pursuing your dream sometimes it's very difficult sometimes it's very painful but how are you going to cross the other side how are you going to find the right one for you if you it's like you know you searching for the green pastures others going to be saying oh not all it's not all green on the other side or something but but the but the point is some people would just be saying that because what what if you keep watering your your greener pasture around you and it's not growing and it's all toxic and it's all like you know but you you know in your heart that you're wanting to explore so i feel like why are you restricting yourself from that because i feel like what what you are looking for is not in your comfort zone right now it's outside of your comfort zone whether this is love or adventure or something that you really want to have in your life your soul is longing for excitement do not just be settling for what is comfortable around you whether this is relationship whether this is like you know um whatever circumstances around you just because you are scared you are scared to push your limits or something like that, but then you'll end up like feeling nah or something because because deep inside your soul you're longing for something more. But since you settle for less, then this is what you get. Mediocre, ordinary. So maybe this is a message that you know, in order to be extraordinary, you gotta push your limits too. Take a leap of faith. Be out there explore spread your wings and fly angel and please learn from your life lessons learn from your mistake and then if if this is all about a relationship move on from the past or move on from whatever is around you right now because i feel like whoever is your life partner or the one for you is not in your life right now possibility this person is far away from you and that's where you need to get your focus on because right now you are you are someone possibly having trouble letting go of codependency or situation shape or what is safe around you so anyway wow this is deep but let's let's find out more give me a second because <clears throat> okay what else travel your life purpose involves traveling but i do know that you like to explore if that's your future spouse they could be traveling around a lot something about school the answer that you're seeking involves going to school so whatever you need to learn possibility mm -hmm. school libraries self-help books something about learning maybe you're a teacher you could be entrepreneur in business or something let's see um huh. within the next few weeks i'm just trying to see what is going on perfect timing yeah so don't be waiting for so long if you think like you want to do things do it now perfect timing is also divine timing or perfect timing could be the right person the right place the right situation the right relationship if you are someone who's been frustrated in the past, just know that there is someone better, someone wonderful, a better option, a better future for you. And there's also a time frame of within, within the next few weeks. But I think your message is do it now. I mean, what are you waiting for? Universe is trying to give you the green light. But at the same time, you need to make smart choices in your life and learn from your mistakes. So what are your blocks? Epoch. There's a 7-7 seven, seven here. Your life path could be 7-7. Seven, seven. Pause in your journey. Yeah, this is you waiting, afraid of letting go. Pause in the journey is the delays. And this is making you frustrated. Protection. 
set personal boundaries, which I already was trying to say. I'm getting goosebumps because I did not control this. What did I say? What you want is outside of your comfort zone. What you want is outside of your boundaries. You still know what your personal boundaries is. You still need to learn to say no and not be a doormat. You still need to speak up, but you also need to learn to fight for your happiness. And there's a message here of protection. Learn to protect your boundaries. Yeah, because you must know what you want when it comes to love, relationship, health, career, whatever. You, you need to have like a vision board or something in order to some to to have some kind of goal if you want to think long term so anyway but what is stopping you right now is because the boundaries that you put in yourself possibly the walls you put around yourself is too high so then maybe that's why the reason now that no matter how much you're going to say yeah it's not always greener on the other side then that could be wrong because universe is trying to tell you now that you cannot be trapped inside your cocoon because you've been stuck there for so long and how are you going to learn there is a message for you from one of the oracle school it's time for you to learn it's fun it's time for you to travel it's time for you to explore and and feel experience and adventure and what you want right now is outside of your boundary so see maybe you're dating the same old same old so universe says explore now wow get it about to employment change your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive change to support your dreams priorities passions and life purpose trust that these changes will help you release the old release the old and welcome the new you are being supported each step of the way well anyway enough said spirit guy says if you want to explore change whatever's in your life right now whether it's employment or relationships or simply be like you want to recreate yourself anyway something you need to be um this is a mystery message for you from the universe. God is your source. So that means like God is always your source for healing and health and light. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God. And your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. I don't know if you are religious or or spiritual but god is your source so that means it's time to ask god's help divine intervention or it's time to pray do not be even be thinking you can just you know like ask blessings you still need to have some kind of faith to god or universe or the creator of everything the most high is that Alpha and the Omega. So anyway, anything that you want, Spirit Guide says, don't be afraid to pray. Or maybe this is a message as well. Trust God. That God has a beautiful plan for you. So I'm going to... Um, anyway, just pause the video and read the message but let's find out more take positive action wow well there it is this is you trying to think of your long-term plan what's your future going to be and the message here take positive action explore you want to learn to something more then you have to to explore because if you're just like I said, if you're just in your own boundary and, and inside your cocoon, you know, not all butter, not all caterpillar that went inside the cocoon has made it true. But see, you don't want to end up like that. If universe is already putting you inside the cocoon, just pray that there's going to be a miracle of metamorphosis and you're going to make it out of there with the most beautiful wings. Everything in life is, we go through cycles anyway, but but we don't want 
we we just we just don't want you to be like inside a cocoon and not experiencing life and then you're going to be isolated in inside of it and not knowing anything so see spirit guy says take positive action take action now do something that's what that's what your message is so if you are someone like wanting to manifest love in your life then do something about it or if you want to like uh, be healthy then do something about it then to be active or like dance or stretch or exercise or something like that or if you or eat healthy or if something is really unhealthy to you like social media and stuff like that then take a break off it that's what i could understand but take positive action that's a beautiful message actually i like that and someone was in a bathtub so maybe step up with your self-care maybe be careful what you put in your body so now there's going to be like a lot of organic stuff less chemicals anyway and take a bath and take a moment you can be relaxing there but you just you just don't want to be doing nothing you want to take action so so anyway what else the tower you wanting to have change in your life the tower is like the darkest moment in your life right now where do you need to be this is you you cannot see there's a lot of haze and and it's so dark and maybe you're dreaming that you are feeling lost and afraid and what else the hermit but see this is you trying to find the light at the end of the tunnel you have to let go of the past or you could be someone connecting with a person who has a very difficult past but you're going to be both shown the light now so you can heal each other and and um, help each other in this lifetime so this is also a message don't judge others and don't judge yourself as well so something like that but whatever difficulty you have went through in your past you have to move away from it because you always need to aspire to get out of this tower moment get out of your isolation what you need is outside what you need like i said you might be thinking you know you're just trying to say yeah the the grass is not greener on the other side that's that's not going to work for you pal too because universe says what you want is outside of your comfort zone what you want is outside of your box outside of what you are always comfortable of so it's time for you to seek to explore to learn so what else the high priestess see and you're going to be guided anyway and you already know what you want anyway and then the trust the, the high priestess is also like a mystic killer intuitive and tapping into your inner intuition tapping into your own magic and mysticism something like that the hermit is like exploring outside going up into the mountains and be like you know like seek enlightenment but the high priestess is someone who's digging deep deep inside now because the if you're someone seeking for a lot of answers the answers that you seek is already inside you and you must follow your soul you follow your intuition follow your inner compass so if there's a feminine and masculine here you're both highly intuitive highly spiritual and could be a twin flame could be a soul connection a past life soul connection and currently in separation but what now the judgment is unfinished business so the judgment could also be transformation reunion victory success closure from the past like you know whatever is hurting you from the past there's going to be healing from that because you're going to be victorious and winning and hopefully that's what's going to happen if this is your twin flame journey right right here you are currently going through a very difficult separation phase and healing phase as well but universe says you're already stepping up into your power both masculine and feminine is already trying to gain back their power and balance and so union 
could be happening very soon for you physical union marriage something like that i just have to throw it out there because this is a mystery message and if this is someone if you are someone who is suffering from health right now and you are going through like medical procedures or something like that see universe says it's just a temporary moment that you you are trying to like how do i even say this regeneration you are seeking for for rebirth regenerating yourself maybe this is universe trying to say you need to expel out all this negativity and all this toxicity in, inside of you you're much more powerful than you think you are maybe this this challenge right now of health and healing and, and whatever you're feeling and pain and sorrow and losses right now it's a challenge it's just a challenge but universe not going to give you a challenge you you cannot win because see whatever you have went through there's a message here of assurance from universe that there's going to be victory and success and you're going to conquer all this pain all this hurt all this madness that you have went through in your life you're going to conquer this pain you're going to conquer your pain and your darkness and uh, you know to tell you honestly you're going to be winning so i wish you the best of luck pile two whether this is love or your self-discovery i am seeing so much potential for you so anyway let's go pile three well i really feel inspired to do this reading because i don't know i we function through energy so i feel called to pick pile blue chalcedony let's see are you looking for inspiration now is the time to quieten your mind and tap into the higher frequencies of the angelic realm by doing this you release anger and frustration because you'll have tapped into inner knowing and found peace inner peace translates into inner beauty and reflects outward to all so um you know what i chose this because i saw the inner peace we need harmony and serenity Maybe this is your struggle right now. You want peace and healing. There's a message here. I am calm and at peace within myself. I embrace the oneness of all life and my peaceful attitude promotes goodwill toward all. I am generous with my time, attention, and resources. I spread love and joy. I see beauty within me and all around me. You could be a healer, pile three because i could sense your energy you want to heal others you want to heal yourself but you are struggling with inner peace you are struggling with with low frequency with low energy with low vibration so so but but i could see your sincerity i could see your intention but you could be someone who's always been like different and always misunderstood that you wanted to help but then others always paint you like because they never understood you but i could see your intention and spirit guy says you're a very peaceful loving person you're a very peaceful loving soul and you're actually looking for more inspiration how how to like share your gifts share and help others and help yourself but i feel like it's much more you wanting to help others so let's see because you're trying to put your time effort energy into like you know life service life purpose life mission let's see what else do you need to hear i also ask universe what kind of blessings is going to shower in your life but first let's see broom new home new attitude so maybe you are going to relocate or you're going to have a new attitude new perspective new mindset in life or this could be actual new home or a possibility it's time for you to declutter clean your closet clean your bedroom and then it feels like a new home because possibility you're living on a dirty house and a lot of clutter so it's time to clean up it's summer solstice today so and it's go it's 
hot outside and very humid so you know what if you're going to be inside then at least you're going to be like functioning around a clean house a clean home or a possibility as well it's time for you to declutter all the the negative thoughts in your mind because you wanting peace so the broom is like it's time to clean out that bad juju shake it off dance it off listen to your favorite dance music and just shake your body okay or something like that so what else yoke feeling tied down or frustrated well we kind of know that anyway what's making you frustrated and tied down right now because you are you don't have inner peace because you need to clear away all these negative thoughts negative energy negative thinking it's draining you it's exhausting you you're feeling burnt out so what else pain new job and career you know what to tell you honestly file you have a new home new attitude and you always you also have a new job a new career feels like you're a brand new person this is what you want right now it's like refreshing energy to refresh yourself to renew yourself to revive yourself so maybe you just need to take a time and breathe that every day is a new day for you to change your life to change your destiny if you can anyway i feel like maybe this is just a mindset or if this is actually you wanting to change new home new attitude new job new career maybe as a start try to take care of your hair skin body and and your clothes okay or your style it's like a, a little makeover here and there nothing too extreme if, especially if you are someone who doesn't have enough money to like be spending a lot so it you know try to take little steps of improving yourself on what is around you so something like that like take time to do things that make you happy even even if it's just going to the coffee shop or treat yourself to a cupcake or a donut or an ice cream or something like that so who, who's stopping you and then if and then if anything then you can burn that calories and then you're going to exercise i mean dance to your favorite music sorry i've been speaking since a while ago so um heart love deep affection and caring yeah well anyway heart could be love Do, are you in love with someone or someone is in love with you you attract love love deep affection and caring so you're a very loving and peaceful soul so this world shouldn't be like painting you like you're not loving you're not peaceful you're not kind so anyway <clears throat> maybe you are connecting with the wrong community you are connecting with the wrong people who's dragging you down like toxic people energy vampires so be aware of that so what else may well the may is a cherry blossom cherry blossoms are also the flowers of rebirth and regeneration elegance beauty and grace the cherry blossoms only blooms 14 days out in a year out of 365 days the cherry blossoms only appear 14 days because it's the time when you know the all the trees are going to like release their blossoms which we call cherry blossoms and then after 14 days the flowers are going to be blown in the wind and going to to be turning into green leaves or fruits so that's why i i like the cherry blossoms but maybe you are someone who does not understand how beautiful you are you do not see how, that your potential your own beauty you could be someone who's lacking in self-confidence but you know the the cherry blossoms reminds me of empress feminine energy beauty goddess something like that 
See, Spirit Guide says, it's time to take care of yourself. You are beautiful too. Do not let anyone like make you think that you are not worth it. So if if toxic people place a situation does not value you, does not appreciate you, so that's why Spirit Guide says, don't be afraid to be on this refreshed mindset. Do not be afraid to be in a blank slate. Okay? So, um, remember, if your life is a canvas and then you are the painter, you can paint wonderful things and manifest things in your life. Or if you are a writer, you can, you can write and create your own love story. Or we are here in this journey of life right now. Then, you know, we can create our own magic. So we can change our destiny and make our dreams become a really reality. Maybe you are a power manifester. Success. See, Spirit Guide says success will be yours. This is the blessings that is going to be yours. So I feel like you are someone possibility being tied down by others who does not believe you. Who, who um, like I said, you were you were connecting with a lot of like toxic energies toxic vibration but spirit guy says success can be yours too actually you want to be successful because you want to help others you share your time effort and energy with others so so anyway you're not even selfish a spirit guy says you're a very loving and peaceful soul and marriage oh my god <laughs> bam so what's going to what blessing is going to be yours? Spirit Guy says you're going to be very, very successful. And you will have the chance to marry and be happy too. And be loved as well. So, wow. So maybe this is a message for you. Refresh your mindset. Refresh your life. Refresh your energy. Because... When you are feeling refreshed, new job, new attitude, new home, new perspective, new mindset, you're going to attract this success in your life. And also, if you're trying to attract your life partner and wonderful marriage in your life, and this is what you're going to have. Wow, I'm seeing sparkles here, success, or a star, actually, a sparkle and shine. Maybe you're going to be a star. Maybe you're going to be recognized. Maybe you're going to be famous. I do not know, but I feel like there's a star and like glistening stars in here, sparkling. And it's very bright. So maybe universe trend is saying, you are going to be finally living your dream. Or this is going to be your dream coming true. Dreams do come true. And especially if you are also someone wanting to to marry the right person, you can, you will. Because see what's going to come to you. Love, deep affection, and caring. Maybe you're going to marry someone who's very loving, who's going to fall in love with you, and a very kind and caring person. So maybe this is your struggle in the past. You were stuck on like a situation in the past that like there was no relationship, there was no love, only pain and always draining you and exhausting you. But that's going to change. What's going to shower in your life is a lot of success and a lot of love and marriage, like a very strong, steadfast, stable, abundant marriage possibility growing all together okay maybe this is the love of your life the romance of your lifetime i mean this is marriage energy so let's see what else can i see seven heavenly virtues key to goodness you could be someone who's a believer of karma and then there you are again trying to reach for the star dreams do come true good things good deeds good karma always win Good always win over evil. Good always prevail over evil. So do not let others fool you that, oh, you know, we don't believe in karma. Good karma is always here. Karma is very real. So 
anyway and that good karma good deeds is going to help you achieve your dreams to become real and answer your prayers something like that is the karma is going to good karma is going to fuel your dreams to become a reality and bring you miracles in your life memories cherish memories of loved ones so anyway yeah you're a really loving person and you know you could be someone who's really expressing with your love so don't forget to tell your loved ones you love them but this could also be you like thinking and feeling nostalgic in the past like what what have you done wrong like you just want to correct the mistakes in the past and maybe you can there's blue flowers and white flowers here and there's rainbow but anyway you are someone who's trying to clear from your negative karmic pattern releasing negative karmic cycles or you are someone like trying to pay off your karmic dues and i think this is what universe trying to say you're a good person you're a very peaceful person and you you have good karma in you believe in yourself so anyway children know that your children are protected so you could be someone who has like you know have a lot of shadows inside of you you have a lot of fear so this is what we call like shadow work or you need to heal your inner child so this could also be a message that you know don't be afraid to let your inner child play and be creative and don't be always so like you know so you you feel like oh my gosh how do i even say do not be saying that you are not allowed to be happy because that's what you know the, i think i think maybe that's what these toxic people toxic energies toxic community like they're contributing to like your low vibration they're trying to weigh you down so universe trying to say you know you gotta learn to release that to universe to nature and and if you are someone who has been hurt in the past and that's possibly why like you wanted to give your time effort and energy and be a healer because you you've experienced so much pain and trauma in your past that you don't want anyone to to feel that but maybe others do not understand under uh, uh, they don't understand you they they don't see what what your intentions are so anyway um but i could see spirit guys says you have good intentions sincere intentions stay true to what you know and keep improving yourself good karma you know like and and good deeds is going to help you be a better person so maybe you are someone who wants children maybe that could be spirit baby or something like that trying to get into your reading and trying to say maybe you are someone who thinks like oh where's your family where's your children but to tell you honestly this could be like unborn spirit baby or something trying to tell you that they love you very much because you're a very wonderful person a wonderful parent to be a wonderful mother to be a wonderful father to be so i could sense really like a very strong energy of spirit baby here so look the tiger here too is like <laughs> like be a tiger be fierce and protection as well so anyway let's let's understand more whatever i miss i'm sorry okay but i really try to to um try <laughs> i tell you family there's family there's children loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose but i already saw that you're very giving with your energy with your time with your effort with the community with the society but sometimes you feel misunderstood but maybe this is also a message that be careful giving away too much of your energy because some do not appreciate that and then they just question you they just bring you down so you must also take care of you also take care of your needs and protect yourself that's what it is 
you could be a very loving soul you could be an earth angel or a star seed but at the end of the day you still need to recharge but i could see your intention that you just want to heal the world you want to heal others and, and you're struggling with that but builder your innate ability to build and create things um your inner ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment so there's a message here family and builder maybe you want to have to build a family or you are manifesting to have a wonderful partner of like partner to have a family with so you don't feel so alone you want to find someone who's going to be protective of you and understand you and love you and not hurt you because see you're very sensitive you're very emotional and you just want to be loved so something about building yourself up or or builder creating something or maybe you could be connecting with a future husband or future spouse who is a builder but i see happy family here so let's see um what else can i see a year from now okay so there's a time frame a year from now hopefully <laughs> hopefully sooner than you think romance oh my god you have the blessings going to pouring in you like love romance and marriage so see a year from now you possibly going to be married pile three because we already seeing it even on your other oracles so the romance of the lifetime or this person you fall in love with is going to love you so much as well and you're going to build a family together so this must be some things you did not see coming but like i said good karma good deeds being a good person and inner peace is going to help you make your dreams a reality so wow i really love this oh my god romance i just saw 11 1 11 something okay so that could be confirmation from your angels is that they're really happy when you're happy now what are your blocks file three Fergan, become a loving mirror. So what you project into others, you're going to project in yourself. If you are in a twin flame connection, try to be much more loving with each other. If you give love to your partner, your, your connection, then love is going to come back to you. Avoid triggers because that's the mirroring here or the mirror exercise. What you put in is going to come back to you. It's like karma. If you give out anger and then anger is going to return and boomerang at you. If you give love and kindness and light and that's also going to come back to you. Happiness and light. Or if someone is really triggering you right now. You know, it's always hard to be the bigger person sometimes. Because I feel like there's a masculine here trying to push your buttons. So anyways, become a loving mirror. Maybe you are someone feeling frustrated right now because this looks like a masculine trying to push your limits, push your button. So why, why, why is that anyway? So Spirit Guide says, be peaceful. You know, that's why you pick blue chalcedony is because you want inner peace because if someone is trying to trigger your buttons how do you win this fight become a loving mirror you can never really win if you're going to put chaos over chaos but become a loving mirror means be kind be loving be gentle be understanding hex be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves but you know maybe someone put a hex on you but anyway it's not like you cannot fight back you can you know you can protect yourself as well you can ask universe and god up above to help protect you and all this black magic and dark magic going to backfire there's some kind of dark magic revolving around you right now but you are 
as like you are a child of light so so you can you know spirit guy says you can protect yourself over this hovering darkness around you be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves you're not really the one provoking you know that's why spirit guy says you are a peaceful and very loving person but once you're provoked and you get triggered and of course you're going to get insane too who doesn't but there's a, there's a message here, be careful, because there could be enemies, jealous haters, like not wanting you to be happy. But see, you are functioning with, on good karma and good deeds. And their true colors is always going to show anyway. All this bad juju, all these toxic people, all these haters. You know, they're trying to twist, to twist your words, to twist, to twist like... You know, they're trying to paint you as the bad person here because they had dark intentions. So, and then they're triggering you to do shit because of all this frustration. So now, universe is trying to, to say that don't be triggered because this is what you, they want from you, reaction. It's a lot of chaos here. What kind of person would have a lot of chaos? But I guess, you know, we are living in a world that is so so hard to understand right now. When you just want to be better and then someone pulls you down. When you want to have high vibration and there's always something. But, you know, Spirit Guide says you're much more, you are much more aware of who you are. You chose the light and you will always choose the light. And you're always never going to be this triggering and chaotic and dark energy. You know, that's why they are dark energy, because they're confused souls. That's why they're very triggering, because they don't know what they're doing. But you are a child of light, and you should have known better. So, but see, this is the reason why I could see you as the healer. But I tell you, we're only humans too. And it don't matter if I'm superhuman, but still. Anyone can be triggered too. So, anyway, um, let's see what else. I'm not done yet what else listen to your intuition a b c and there's birds here and what is this i don't know what she's holding okay but there's a message here listen to your intuition you could be someone highly intuitive you could be a mystic i don't know what she's holding right now it could be an oracle it could be a message but there's birds in here too so you will be guided after all i know that you're very you could be gifted soul as well mystic highly spiritual enlightened being child of light a child of god child of the universe okay let's see take a divinely guided chance and there's children again oh my god all positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories see this new territories is coming again in your reading so maybe this is a message that you're ready to embark on new chapters and new beginning in your life it's time to close the old chapters in your life that is weighing you down and holding you from moving forward in life because even your t cards it's speaking about new home new attitude new job new career new perspective and then now it's saying here as you leave behind that that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities while wow. your oracle and your message here mystery message from universe new opportunities is waiting for you pile two no matter what you have went through in the past refreshing energies refreshing opportunities it's like universe trying to open door for you now okay to um like you know be happy as well remember blessings going to shower in your life it's marriage and success and new opportunities new job new home new perspective new mindset new attitude a new you refreshed like a, a brand new you dreams of abundance see 
As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. So anyway, dreams of abundance. Well, maybe this is universe already sending you signs in your dreams or your premonition that you can be successful and you can be abundant too. So it's a message to take note of your dreams or something and there could be meaning in your dreams. This could be your guides or universe trying to, to give you like meanings, uh, to give you like to show you in your dream what's, you know, what beautiful things is going to happen in your life. Because universe really wants you to stay positive, to refresh your life, to renew your life, to revive you, to like take you out of all this triggering and chaos and darkness and, and you know, just be peaceful and new beginnings. So, okay, and light. So, the reason why others get stuck on the darkness is because they're confused. That's what they attract. And, but, but you know who you are. You chose the light. You chose to be peaceful. So that's where you need to be. And you need to pursue that. Healing, success, love, abundance. Okay, strength. And how are you going to do that? Sometimes, sometimes in life, it's when especially when it's very difficult, you are at your breaking point as well. But this is a message you must stay strong. Grace under pressure. Or stay strong. Be gentle with yourself. Be kind with yourself. It's like, you know, whatever is around you, whatever skills, whatever trigger. Wow. Don't be affected by it. But I kind of know that it breaks you too. But whatever happens, do not let all this toxicity and darkness around you break you. Empress. I tell you, because you're the Empress. This the cherry blossoms. I already told you. And you are very abundant. Maybe that's the reason why others like to break you. Because this is something in you that they don't have. You're intuitive. You're beautiful. You're amused. You're very blessed. And you should know who you are. You have the power. You have the favor of the divine and the universe. And it took so much for you to be the empress. Because, you know, you, you've gone through so much shadow work. And you have worked so hard for your good deeds and your good karma. And, and it's understandable that you expect that whatever you surround with is also going to be high vibrational, is also going to treat you and love you the way you just want to be loved and the way you show others love and healing and the way you share your time, effort and energy to others. So you could be also someone who wants to be a mother, who wants to have a life partner because I could see children and family here and the Empress is also marriage is also very abundant a very beautiful person um, very creative artistic very loving person and also gifted this very strong divine feminine energy here so what else the fool see this is the sense of adventure and there's a dog here so you might be connecting with someone who could be in distance from you. This could be a new love, a new romance, a new person that you're still about to meet. Or this is a new romance that's about to blossom. The full, there's a masculine here, um, a little bit of, you know, like a dreamer, wanderer, someone who's so searching, a person who likes animals. You're in the Empress energy and you are connecting with someone who is still in the beginning, like the full, the page energy, like kind of still needing direction, needing guidance, needing 
assurance or needing direction it's like peter pan energy it reminds me of like you know like a young boy maybe your person looks younger than their age even if they could be a mature man or something but maybe they look younger than their age or they could be someone who's been you know like trying to search where they need to be right now because the fool is also like taking a leap of faith adventure exploring the unknown maybe this person this masculine is also looking for you pile three wow let's see oh my god the sun is here so see i tell you the sun also signifies success happiness and wishes coming true sun could also be the love and the light and i love it when the sun comes in your energy because it's good luck that whatever delays and blockages and obstacles you have felt in your life and whatever you encountered you can move away from it it's going to like um this is like the sun is a message that that you're going to be winning amidst all of this insanity and and darkness and pain that you have experienced in your life after all you are powerful i feel like whoever is going to challenge you i don't think like i feel like this is a person of power right here like you have so much power and potential pile three and i feel like the world just have to see this no one is going to stop you or you're very unstoppable you like you see maybe someone's trying to break you but i guess they can only try they will never break you because you have that you, you have the capability to regenerate yourself or to like rise above again stronger than you ever were before and and the full and the sun oh my god maybe you are connecting with a life partner who sees you as the light because like i already said but like you are being like you know you are revolving right now with a lot of dark energy but no one is going to see through not that darkness is going to seep through you because you are a child of light which i already was trying to say maybe the darkness all this dark energy dark, dark toxicity and heaters they don't like your light but they were drawn to your light but you're also a healer so in some point it's not like you just want to bring the world down, bring others down. You, This is the reason why you're in this journey. Because you want to heal yourself and you want to heal others. And you just want to be happy too. That's what exactly is, is your goal in life. But there's moments that you're even asking how to be strong and how to be brave. Because you know, you, you, are, you have suffered your own losses and, and difficulty as well. But that's how the Empress rose from from the ashes. That's how the Empress, like uh, she had her crown and her thorns, not because it was spoon fed and given to her, it's because she really works hard for it. She really paid her karma. She, she She's really like uh, work on herself to be a good person, a good woman, a good soul. And I think you must be manifesting a uh, romance and, and uh, love in your life. And is this possible that you can still marry? Yes. The blessing that's going to come to you is success and marriage and love. So, and then the, the sun is also happiness and, and um, miracles coming true in your life or happening in your life so anyway wow maybe you could be connecting with someone who is shining like the sun maybe a very creative soul maybe they could be a public figure in the spotlight but a person who's also a little bit confused because like i said deep inside they're like this little boy and now they kind of make sense because you are there like i asked the spirit guys what are your blocks and then we saw someone trying to trigger your buttons like the mirror 
someone trying to like push your buttons someone trying to trigger you so so maybe this is universe trying to say you have so much light inside you that you cannot let this darkness and all this trigger and chaos bring you down i know it's very difficult because i could see you like breaking off in there too but universe says you're going to heal and, that, and whoever is trying to break you come back up stronger because you're the empress you're beautiful you're abundant you're blessed and others possibly going to be asking and wondering how did you even make it true how come you get so much power how come like like you know you have all this and then they're going to be amazed anyway because they'll, they're going to realize that you are a force to be reckoned with look you are a force to be reckoned with and then you also have the sun here kind of like the universe now going to to be looking at you like energize you or something like that it feels like i also see the sun as the solar power or the universe energy trying to harness light towards you trying to give you energy even if you were someone who thinks like at one point in your life you cannot make it true you always have help from the universe and i hope that whoever is your life partner because i know definitely that you will marry someone one day and hopefully soon i hope they're also going to like guide whoever is this person to be better for you or to be better for themselves because i feel like whoever is this little boy or little boy energy maybe they're just a little bit confused and if they were triggering you in the current situation and in, in the past or something i don't think they even intentionally did it so maybe you just need to be kind be gentle with yourselves and be forgiving because see sometimes little boys don't even know what they're doing they're just like they're not even thinking but you are here in the empress you're much more mature and and intuitive and a healer to boot as well so yeah it takes a lot though strength grace and courage to be you right now and also beauty but you're very blessed anyway and that's that's what you need to realize and since you know you you are also capable of manifesting wonderful things in your life and you should start doing that and today is the full moon as well manifest love kindness forgiveness marriage happiness success good health wealth in your life like what what is <gasps> sky is the limit you can manifest anything after all, whatever you manifest to yourself, you share to others anyway. So it's the good karma coming back to you as well. So thank you very much, Pile 3. I think this is the mystery message that I am picking up for you. And happy full moon. Thank you very much. And I love you guys. If you want to give me and donate coffee, my description box will have my GoFundMe, PayPal, Cash App. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.